In this Destiny 2 video, I bring you a complete guide on how to get the new, exotic Kvostov weapon, new to the Final Shape DLC. Now this is a start to finish guide, going over every single requirement to get this exotic. So let's go. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so in this video, we go over the entire quest to get the legendary version of this weapon, which is believed to be a requirement first. We then check out how you get all eight visions of the Traveler, which is another requirement. And then guys, we check out how to get the remaining Morts of Light. 17 of these are needed in total. You get eight from the uh, visions of the Traveler, and then you get nine from various different bosses. So let's start with the legendary version of the stuff. Now this weapon is locked behind a chest which requires a lost encryption code. There are I believe 15 of these lost encryption bits for you to collect. Uh, 6 coming from Sist missions and the others coming from region chests. So let's get to this guys. Now I will firstly run through the Sist missions, what these are and how you get them. The region chests we can cover after as they ain't really going anywhere. So firstly, people, to even start this quest line, you have to complete the final shape story because you need Mika 10's quest line in order to unlock this weapon. So completing a main campaign story for this DLC, upon you doing this, you return to the Lost City on Pale Heart. Speak to Ghost and he will have a quest waiting for you called Destined Heroes. Once you pick this up, you then have to interact with a radio right by Ghost. Upon you doing this, you then have to investigate the activity of Safafoon's Lucent Hive near the portal. This is a mission that starts right nearby. Now a few simple tips for this mission. It's all about using that relic dropped by those knights to deflect bullets shot by the enemy back at the plates or runes. Matching the corresponding enemy type burn to the colour of the rune and so forth. You will eventually come to certain runes that are shielded. Above them is a little ball. You shoot this ball with the swords or the relics heavy attack. It will clear the shield allowing you to deflect those bullets at those, uh, those runes, those plates to progress on. Now once you do this guys and complete this part of the quest, this mission, the next step is a simple one and this is where this whole quest line starts. You need to head back to the Lost City and speak to Mika 10. He will give you this quest line. The quest line is called Convalescence Route Bound. So this will require you to head to a certain location people, obviously use the waypoints on your map on that director. Eventually guys, if you're having trouble, you'll find the ghost right here people. It's as simple as that. Once you've done this guys, head back to Mika, return the ghost, speak to Mika, Claim your prize and you are done. The next part of this quest is called Convalescence Under Brush. This part of the quest line is also straightforward. It requires you to acquire Flickering Blessing mods by opening chests anywhere on a pale city, but with the path find a field assessment chest giving you much better chances. Once you've opened enough random chest guys, you'll find what you are looking for. Once you're done here, the next step is to investigate the new growth in the Order of Light, which sees you heading back to Mika 10's room and interacting with this ghost. Then guys, go on and speak to Mika, claim your weapon. The next part of the quest is called Convalescence Greenery. This step is where you have to open overflow chests in the landing area to gain access to the location Mika indicated. For me, like I said, it's in the landing area. So I headed here and worked my way through those overthrow events, getting them done and opening chests. Now from here, which I will say what my confused players uh, who have already progressed this point and think they have missed something, I can assure you, you haven't. You can always go back, trust me, I had to. So the next step is to follow the vision of the light into the depths of the pale heart and complete the sword dance cyst. This is one of six cyst missions which hidden in them 
are those last encryption bits but don't worry like I said if you've completed a sys mission a part of a quest line for Micah Tank called Alone in the Dark you can always go back to them trust me as like I said I missed the one from the Sword Dance Sist mission which is the first one you go to but I went back to it so don't worry about it but either or guys the location of that that last encryption bit within the sword dance mission you can see right here guys this is where you find it now they are normally located in and around a boss room but within the sword dance this mission is actually located way before that so when you come to this area guys take out those enemies and then follow the path i take on the screen now and get that last encryption bit as you can see my one's purple because it's the last one i picked up because like i said i missed it the first time around so like i said you can always go back and get them which i will explain how you do this later on in the video so once you grab this go ahead and complete this assist mission from here guys head back to Mika 10 again interact with that ghost speak to Mika 10 claim that reward and again guys you are good here you will receive the exotic quest for the microcosm I believe that's pronounced put that aside for now that is not needed within this quest line okay so now guys within Micah's imagery screen there is another quest under the last ghost tab it's called alone in the dark and as you can see here, I've already recovered one ghost. Uh, we've since discovered one of six. This is because I did the sword dance cyst mission, but at that time I didn't pick up that last encryption bit. And what happens with this alone in the dark quest is it's on a constant rotation. So you work your way through these six cyst missions, and eventually, guys, they will rotate back around allowing you to go back and collect the things you may have missed like I did like I said with that sword dance assist mission so yeah cool okay so once you pick up the lawn in the dark quest it will start and lead you to the blooming area on the pale heart where you have to go into the blooming deep lost sector and locate that ghost again always pinpoint make that waypoint on your map guys and follow the path it takes you on so eventually guys you'll come to this point right here and you'll locate this ghost which you can find right here people. Now upon you doing this you then have to open overthrow chests in the blooming area to overthrow the blooming. Here guys is progress that overthrow within this area until you open enough chests until that next step opens up and pops up on your quest line. Simple. Now your next step will be to follow the vision of light into the depths of the pale heart. Here you guys you head to this location on your map again at that waypoint. Uh, follow that bird and carry on until the end of the mission where you take this boss down. Upon you taking the boss down guys you obviously have the option to heal the wounded ghost. Here I left this until I found the bits, the last encryption bits and then went back, healed the ghost and progressed with the mission. But yeah guys you'll find the last encryption bit right here on the screen so grab this and then progress this mission. Once you are done, head back to Mika 10, claim your reward and pick up that Alone in the Dark quest again. You have to keep picking up between every assist mission completion, guys. Okay, so next up we have the aerial system mission and the last encryption bit location. So this one guys, you need to head to the impasse area, again make a waypoint, head into the broken deep lost sector and then once you get into this room, clear out all the enemies and you'll find that ghost right here people. Then once you've done this, you have to again open overflow chests within the impasse area again to progress onto the next step so keep doing this people until that next step pops up when it does make sure you track it and follow that waypoint you'll eventually guys get to this point and assist a mission make your way towards the end of it take out the boss and you are good from here guys follow the path i take on screen now to get that last encryption bit
Once done, progress the quest, head back to Mika, do what you gotta do, claim that reward and pick up that alone in the dark quest yet again. Okay, so we now move on to the Moth Cyst mission and Lost Encryption Bit location. So if you're in the landing area, make that waypoint and follow the path it tells you to go on. You will eventually come to this point right here guys, where that ghost can be found. Again, from this point within the landing area, go and do that overthrow until that next step does indeed pop up. Again, here now making that waypoint on your director, follow the path it tells you to take. Now this last encryption bit is found towards the start of this mission, which is pretty cool, and normally found towards the end. So when you get to this point right here guys, you'll see that orb is shooting at you, take him out, then follow the path I take down to get this last encryption bit. From here, finish this cyst mission, then head back to Mika 10 and again, uh, grab your rewards and grab that along in the dark quest yet again. Okay, so now guys, we move on to the Slayer cyst mission and it's last encryption bit location. So head to the blooming landing area and follow the path it tells you to take. You'll eventually get to this point right here, people, where this ghost can be found. From here guys head back to the blooming area and again open doors over through chests to progress this mission. Once you are done mark the quest on your map and follow that waypoint. So you make your way through this mission to get to the end boss fight. Here take at that boss. Once you do people follow the path I take on screen now to grab that last encryption bit. Pretty cool. Once you're done with this, head back to Mika 10, pick up your rewards and again pick up that Alone in the Dark quest yet again. Okay, so next up guys, we move on to the Smothering Darkness Cyst mission and Lost Encryption Bit location. So within the impasse area, make that waypoint and follow the path it tells you to go on. You'll eventually come to the Broken Deep Lost Sector. Progress through this last sector until you come to this point right here and this is where that ghost can be found. From here guys, head back to the impasse area and again, open those overflow chests to progress the mission. Once you do, the next step will pop up and mark it on your map and follow the path it tells you to go on. Here guys, make your way all the way to the boss fight. Take that boss out and then follow the path I take on screen now to get that last encryption bit. From here, finish this mission and head back to Mika 10. Now, if you've already done some of the CIS missions, they will rotate, like I said earlier on in the video. So keep picking them up, keep picking up the Lone in the Dark quest until the CIS mission you missed eventually comes back around. You may have to keep completing them though until it does come back around. But you gotta do what you gotta do. 
Okay, so the remaining nine uh, last encryption bits all come from region chests found around the Pale Heart. Okay, so I'm going to start with the landing area. There are three chests here and these are their locations. Next up guys, we have the blooming area. There are three chests here too, and on screen now you'll see their locations. And finally guys, we have the impasse area. There are three chests here too, and these are their locations.
And well guys, once you have all of them, you are good to go and get that cover stuff. Head back to the impasse, follow the path I take on screen now. Open that golden chest and get the cover stuff legendary weapon. And there you have it people. Okay, so now that you have the legendary version of this weapon, there are more steps you have to take. You now guys need to collect 8 visions of the Traveller, which at the same time of collecting each, you get 1 malt per 1. But there's also 9 more malts you will need to collect after these, which we'll get to soon enough. Firstly, the 8 visions of the Traveller and your first 8 malts of light. So the first one you need to come to the Lost City and follow this path down. So I'll do as I do and get this one. The next one is found just left of the landing area loading zone. The next one guys is in the refraction area so load into that landing area. This is quite a trek so follow carefully. The next one is located within the blooming area so load in and follow this path then climb up the tree. Thank <laughs> you. 
life resonates from this object. Experiences I can try to interpret. I am the next one is also found from you loading into the blooming area and following this path I take. Now it requires you to have already done the Slay Assist mission, which if you've got this far, you will already have. Now at this point guys you need to kill the knight and shoot the corresponding symbols to pass through this door. Once you do this follow the path to that ogre boss right at the end of this mission. Once you take him out, follow the path to this vision of the Traveller and that moat. Okay, so the next one is located within the divide. Uh, this one is an absolute trek. It will take you about five minutes to run this. So follow this uh, path from the impasse, follow it carefully and go get this one guys.
Okay, so the next one is gone from near the impasse area too, so load in here and follow the short path. Okay, and the last one, guys, is found within the transgression area. So again, loading at that impasse loading zone and follow this path I take on screen to your eighth and final vision of the traveler and your eighth motor of light. So you're now sitting on eight visions of the traveler and eight motes of light. You now need to get nine more motes of light to unlock this exotic. So to do this guys, you need to defeat nine unique bosses that spawn in at a level four within the overthrow. Now it was believed that these nine bosses were split over a three day cycle, a three day rotation within the three areas on the pale heart, the blooming, the landing and the imp. Pass. So one boss for each day within the three areas. Over three days, that is nine bosses. After you defeat each one, you get a guaranteed Molt of Light. On that ninth boss, you get the Primordial Light or the Molt of Primordial Light. But what I will say is, this was thought to be the case, but my pal had another boss spawn at the same point. It already defeated another boss earlier on in the day and got a mort from it. So it seems as though these nine unique bosses may not be time gated to individual days. This isn't a guarantee yet. Uh, I'm sure someone will confirm it down below. It is early days. But that ninth unique boss that you do take out will drop, like I said, the mort of primordial light. So once you have those 8 visions of the traveller and those 17 motes of light or 16 motes of light and that one primordial light, you can now guys go and get your exotic Kvostov. So to do this, head back to the lost city and follow this path I take down to the speaker's old area, the speaker's old room.
when she was down here guys place those visions of the traveler in those podiums Once you've placed all eight, you'll get a chest to appear. And then guys, you simply open that chest and the exotic cover stuff is now yours. And it really is as simple as that, people. Now credit to my pal Easy now 1337 for helping me out with this video. His channel can be found linked down below if you do want to check him out and show him some love. But there we have it guys for another Destiny 2 Final Shape video. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one. We all on YouTube every damn day. Watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many are the same. That's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Destiny gameplays, weekly snipes. Heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.